Okay, so before we install the cabinets, I wanted to just sit here and have a little backyard chat with you for a minute and talk about uh, some of the fasteners that are available to use when you're installing cabinets. And we're going to go over which ones here are appropriate and which ones are not. So I want to start off with these here so you can see um, I use these a lot for uh, putting together wood studs and stuff. But even though these are a great screw and even though they're exterior and you know pretty tough and everything, these are not appropriate in my opinion for doing cabinets. You maybe could get away with using them in the back of the cabinet to screw them to the wall. The reason why is look at the thread. See this is a very coarse thread screw here. So you don't want to use a screw like this when you're trying to put two cabinets side by side together. Um, the, the idea is, is you have kind of coarse grain and then you have fine grain screws. And whenever you're hooking two cabinets together like this side by side, you want to use the fine grain screw. And that's where something like this one comes in too. Now this one I like. Even though this is meant here for doing, uh, for you know, going into uh, a metal type stud. See, this has a fine grain as well as a self drill point at the end of it. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, these are, now these are small and short and everything, so these really don't have much uh, use. It's the bigger one that I use here, and I, and I even like the bigger one, and I'll show you why, because see, it has the square drive and the fine thread. So with a square drive head on it, and you see how small and low profile that head is, and it's a square drive, you use a square bit instead of a Phillips head bit, and it never slips out. That's what I love about these, and, and these are very low profile heads, so these are appropriate for putting going sideways through the frame of your cabinet into the cabinet next to you so that it ties them both together and see that really fine grain thread there that fine thread will suck the two cabinets together nice and tight the best way to do this is you just drill a pilot hole through pilot hole through the frame of the first cabinet and then in just a teeny bit into the second one you don't want to drill a pilot hole through both of the cabinets because you want meat for the screw to grab onto when you put it in okay so this is an appropriate type one that you you would want to use um, this is another one that is not appropriate this is your regular drywall screw I've seen lots of guys use drywall screws and that's why they end up with a gap behind you know between the two cabinets so I want you to take a look at this picture here that has the big gap on it and I want you to ask yourself is this how I want my two cabinets to line up with this coarse grain screw do you want it to look like this or do you want it to look like this so you see how there's no gap at all they just a nice hairline um, little crack between them there's no big black ugly space that you would see in between there that's the way you want it to look and, and you know people have to keep in mind too just because you're looking at the edge of a cabinet, that doesn't mean that it's perfectly straight. Wood is not straight. Wood has a curve to it, whether or not your eye can see it. But when you go to put two side-by-side -side pieces together, that's when you find out that it's not always exactly straight. Which is why you'll be putting in, um, if you go to use this screw here to screw two cabinets side-by-side, -side, you'll be going every few inches up in order to, to suck that crack in so that you can barely see it so it just looks like a hairline now these screws here I like to use a lot these are my go-to screws and, and I I have like all sorts of sizes of these starting at one and a half going to two two and a half all the way up to three and I like these uh, for a couple of reasons so if you look at these screws first of all you know uh, you got the white head on there and that's a star head that's on there and these come with their own bit. Let me see if I've got one in one of these here. Yeah. So let me pull this one out here. So these come with their own bit that you stick in your drill, and that's a star bit. And again, these won't slip either. I've never had one of these slip ever. They're just beautiful. And so these are also, these screws here, if you look at them, they're in between the fine that I prefer and the coarse. So these are, these are pretty adequate in most cases to use as well all right so another fastener type thing here that I don't think is really appropriate anymore 
are these finishing washers. And what these are, these are these little washers here that you'll sometimes see installers use. And what they do is they take their screw and they run it through the washer so that when they screw it into the back of the uh, cabinet here, see? That's what it looks like. It looks a little bit on the tacky side. But why in the world, folks, would you want to go through all of this nonsense when you've already got the right screw right here and here? This already has a nice flat head built on it and everything, and this is appropriate to go right up against that surface. These screws are not. And then all you're going to do is, you know, leave an imprint in the wood with that ring there, so that washer. So instead of going this route, and by the way, you have a, a thicker thread anyway, you, you want to go this route with a finer thread. So let's compare the two. If you look at them side by side there, you can see how the cabinet screw that I prefer to use has a finer thread anyway. It's a much more appropriate fastener for using on the cabinets. And I'll show you something else too. When I'm using this other one here, this is the finishing uh, screw here. Uh, sometimes we will still go ahead and use this thing here. These are these are our uh, little little drill bits here, and these are used for doing your countersink here. These are special countersink bits. So see how they're angled right there. What they do is they'll drill a hole that's shaped for this type of a head, because you want the head to lay in there flat. You don't want your head to come chewing into the wood at the last minute and possibly causing a split or a crack. Whenever you're hanging cabinets, that's what you're trying to avoid because once you make that one crack, that's it. You've ruined it. You don't get a second chance to fix that. So that's why it's, it's important to drill that pilot hole when you're putting two cabinets side by side like this. So let's say this is one cabinet and this is the other, and you'll see it later in the video. You put them side by side, you're going to drill a pilot hole all the way through the first one and just barely touch the second one with it and let the screw come in and grab all of the meat. So here's your screw, it's going to come in like this and it's going to go all the way in and it'll grab that meat by itself. You don't need to make a hole all the way through, you just need to get the little thing started. That's what keeps it from splitting. And um, I also wanted to touch on the drill and we'll show you that in a minute, but basically I prefer to leave my drill setting on one and use an impact driver on setting one. And the reason for that is, is once your screw is going in and you're going wee, 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 right when you get to the, near the very end, it senses and knows all the resistance that you're getting near the end of the screw. And it starts clicking and it'll go like click, 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 very, very slowly. You don't want to come in on full speed number three and go wee, and run that screw into there. It'll split your wood. So you're not here to be a macho, you know, Neanderthal here. Hanging cabinets sometimes requires the touch of a surgeon, a gentle touch of a surgeon, not a Neanderthal. Okay, so just a little review here. On the top here, you're looking at the screws that we prefer to use compared to the screws that we prefer not to use. And we don't want these because they're a coarse grain, and we do want these because they are a finer grain. We don't need these because if you're using this type of screw right here, it's already got its own washer head built onto it. You don't need anything else. You're just doubling the work and the cost. Okay.